Welcome to another Selfish Ass podcast and this time around I want to show you the camera quality of the Sony Xperia XA2 running Selfish S and compare it a little bit with the Sony Xperia X device, the other Selfish X device. First of all, let's take a look at the camera hardware itself. You will see that it has this basically the same 23 megapixel camera sensor, but it quite different lens, so a lens that has a wider angle, a wider field of view. And of course we have also a selfie camera, a front-facing camera with 8 megapixels and this is a little bit disappointing I think. It's not auto-focusing as the, on the Xperia X device and the quality is not quite as on par uh, with the X device itself. But let's take a look at the photos that I took with uh, the XA2's main camera. Here are the pictures that I took with the Sony Xperia XA2 running Selfish S and I was using the uh, default camera app, the uh, Yola camera or Selfish camera, I'm not sure how it's called, but it's the default app that comes with the Selfish X or Selfish 3.0 version and I took some photos in an uh, environment that's a little bit dark but because we have winter time here in uh, Europe and so I was not able to capture sunny, nice uh, pictures from the beach or something like this. I had to take some uh, captures here inside as it was raining outside most of the time. But I think I could, could have done better pictures with a sunny environment, of course. And you will see when I activate the meta information, the EXIF information actually captured from the device that you can, of course, then uh, also um, just simply compare it with other uh, camera, camera smartphones, maybe. So this is the first picture I took. I think it's quite okay looking um, in this 28% uh, view. If I go to 100%, you will see that it's a bit of grainy and a bit of noisy. So it's not only grain, but real noise or so color noise, as you can see here, cringing in, but this is expect expectable from this tiny little sensor inside of this uh, Sony camera at an ISO rating of uh, roughly 800. So I don't any, any expect anything uh, less or better from this. What we'll clearly see here is that this color noise is cringing in and all over the place. As you can see here, so clearly I would say this image is not really usable at 100%, but on a small, the smartphone screen is okay for sending it to, to people uh, via chat or something like this without any problems. You can see also that uh, this one here should be in focus. I used the, the camera shutter button, so the camera shutter button is working on the XA2 without any problems. If you half press it, it will auto focus. Uh, sadly, it does not show what it is focusing on, it's just confirming somehow that it is in focus or you have to guess that it is in focus. There's no confirming light going on, no confirming beep going on. So uh, you have to look at the screen and then see, okay, it looks like it is in focus. And as you can see here, yeah, the car is in focus, this little car, this little uh, guy is in focus as well. And I think my happy, 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 lucky swine it's also in focus somehow, but here you can see the color noise uh, really appearing. As you can see here, the, there's only slight tint of the real color of this uh, of this um, pig. And uh, yeah, um, this is this picture. Let's go to the next picture, which is this one. And this is also the one that I took with the half pressed shutter button. And what we will see without me zooming in, is that it clearly did not focus on any of those three uh, elements here. It just focused on the background, as you can clearly see. So you can see here, this is in focus, and this is completely unsharp, not in focus. So this algorithm, whatever, that determines what has to be in focus is clearly not something I would recommend using. So I know it's convenient to half press, just like on a real camera on the XA2 and the button is of course for this but uh, yeah the focus is all over the place and you're never really sure if you hit the right spot as it's not showing you where it is focusing on which is a bit sad. 
the next photo I took with uh, tap to focus so you have the option to use tap to focus and this is what I recommend especially in this early version of the XA2 and Surface S 3.008 running on it is to use tap to focus because then you are you can be pretty sure that it focused around the spot that you clicked or tapped on. So in this case, I tapped on this little car and you can see even if I go to 100%, yeah, it is in focus. At least it's more in focus than the pick here and it's more in focus than uh, this little guy here. And the background is also blurry and not in focus. As you can see here, the focus, I think it's around here, maybe, yeah, the car including but as you can see here, it's not, uh, it's still, it's not ISO 800, but 730 in this case, but it's, and it's a little bit shaky because the exposure time is 1 of the second. And this could also lead to a little bit of shake, handshake, which uh, leads to a little bit of blur in the image itself. Uh, but you can see clearly uh, color noise is not, it's, it's still apparent as you can see here, the grain, you can see it and color noise and think in the background you can see it clearly there but it's not as bad as an uh, ISO 800 or over 800 so this is I think the sweet spot so around 700 ISO 700 is around the sweet spot of an usable image that I also would um, maybe share and, and crop sometimes even um, on a computer let's go to the next one which is basically the same photograph, but now I clearly focused on this little fella here, and as you can see here, it is sharp. So tap to focus is working a lot better in comparison to the X, um, Sony Xperia X device running Selfish X. And uh, as you can see, the pic is also nicely in focus. The next photo I took is a photo using the shutter button again, and um, what I thought when um, creating the photograph and half pressing the shutter button that it focused on this little pick in the middle but if you go into the middle you can see ooh, it's not very sharp it's not in focus actually it's in more in focus than the car and more in focus than uh, this little fella in the background but <clears throat> yeah not really in focus so I took another shot using tap to focus to clearly show you um, again, first of all, if you use tap to focus, it locks the exposure as well to the to the spot. So it's using spot uh, exposure thingy to lock the exposure on the subject that you tapped on. So in this case, it's a little bit brighter here, as you can see, and it's in focus. Of course, color noise and, and, and grain is uh, cringing in at 784 ISO rating, so I think underneath 750 ISO is so the sweet spot and this is well looks a little bit grainy and color noisy um, but I think it look, looks a lot better uh, than um, the previous image so do we have another image yeah we have another image in the dark captured in the dark and as you can see here uh, it overexposed of course so I was um, using uh, tap to focus so you can see it's clearly sharp and you can see ISO went down to 428 and uh, the exposure time is also very important if you want a comparison with the of the uh, Sony Xperia X running safe dress later on it's around 100, uh, 1 over 50s of a second and you can see it's sharp clearly the uh, grain and the noise is uh, not so visible anymore and this is basically when you take a shot outside in the sun and so on you most probably have an ISO rating around 400 maybe 200 even and, and, and lower so you will definitely not see any big noise uh, um, and, and, and uh, especially these those color noise patterns uh, going on in when you take um, pictures on the beach or something like this and another shot again trying to lock on another um, item here to see if it changes exposure but it does not change anything basically so it's still overexposed here and yeah too bad so let's go out of here and take a look at a shot completely taken in the dark 
and I think this looks pretty pretty good because I was not seeing this scene at all I could not see the stuff in the background here uh, the fine detailed stuff in the background and it was just using half press a half um, uh, pressed shutter button and took the shot and it was using the flash of course it when it uses the flash it uh, regulates the ISO to about 138 as you can see here so a very good value and still uses the exposure time 150s um, approximately and as you can see here if I zoom in no there's a slight grain that you can still see but it's sharp it is using over sharpening a bit I think in the algorithm for the camera itself here you can see a little bit of color noise and grain but overall and here I think it's a little blurry mess but overall I think it's a pretty good shot as you can see the keyboard is not it's slightly out of focus because it was I think focusing on the back or, or infinity I'm not sure um, this was this shot the next shot was with tap to focus on the keyboard of the this is by the way the Gemini PDA also running self-stress and as you can see here the exposure is um, a little bit different let me go back and as you can see here of course the angle also changed a bit but I think this black looks a bit different to this black and of course this is now sharp so as you can see here the keyboard is sharp you can clearly read not only the big letters on the keyboard but also the small uh, fine details of the uh, keyboard without any problem this is a pretty good shot for uh, such a small camera sensor in a middle class um, uh, in a middle class um, smartphone and as you can see here this is also sharp and here also sharp and I think this is one of the best shots I took with uh, this smartphone ISO rating pretty low <coughs> exposure time okay flash is doing a great job white balancing is working as you can see here the wall is wide of course as the flash is not so strong you can see here that uh, we have uh, vignetting uh, somehow but it looks okay white balancing is doing its job just like it should and yeah this is basically a good shot so now to the comparison between this and the Sony Xperia X device running also Selfish S in the latest version um, and you will see big big differences uh, let's compare the last shot so this is the shot from the Sony Xperia X device and as you can see here clearly first of all everything is out of focus nothing is in focus even if I pressed half uh, half pressed the shutter button nothing is in focus this is the first thing and the other thing you can see is clearly everything is green here this has nothing to do with the green leaves here or the green bubbles here it is just the auto white balance is off off on so many ways and it's not only the auto white balance it's everything when you're using flash on the Sony Xperia X is disappointing as you can see here it's using ISO rating of 900 which is totally totally crazy because 900 you saw the the the, the noise creeping in at the ISO level 800 and the Sony Xperia X device uses basically the same sensor uh, there's nothing really changed the only thing that's different is the software uh, because this is running an older kernel and another software another driver for for it and this uh, this driver seems to be very buggy as it's using very high ISO rating and at the same time using a very high setting for noise reduction so you won't see much color noise as you can see here this wall looks like painted there's no color noise in here there's no grain in here because there's a very hard and harsh um, um, anti-noise uh, algorithm uh, working on the Sony Xperia X device and yeah this is with half press shutter on the Sony Xperia X device it's totally crap and the next one is using the tap to focus on the on the Gemini PDA and as you can see here it is in focus but as the ISO rating is so high and the noise reduction is so turned so high as well because of the high ISO it's of course a little bit blurry and this is not all together com in combination with the exposure time from for of 1 20th of the second which is handheld uh, very hard to hold and taken a sharp shot is uh, a dead combination so this is basically why as you can see here 
here you can see the the noise reduction on the on the on the text of this little uh, paperback and of course on the salamander no detail at all the anti-noise reduction uh, basically cut everything off and in comparison again the xa2 does a much better job white balancing dozen times better as you can see here you can read the text you can see the little details on the salamander everything is more it's sharper it's it's of course better because of the exposure time because of the uh, iso being lower of course there is more grain in there but this also means that the anti-grain or anti-noise reduction is not turned to super super high or even turned completely off i'm not sure and uh, this is what you can see in comparison in direct comparison also with with other shots that i did uh, to compare the two devices let's just not go through all these shots but uh, let's go to this shot um, here you can see that the um, tap to focus uses a different exposure setting so it made the image a lot brighter and it's uh, in comparison to the xa2 shot which i have here as you can see here this image is a lot darker this is a lot brighter and basically taken from the same position here you can also see uh, that the, the the lens is a little bit different uh, but it's a more wide angle lens on, on the XA2 uh, but you can see here noise is screaming in um, uh, it's sharp and here you can see it's brighter because I had basically the spot focusing and spot exposure metering on the same subject on this little pic and you can see here yeah it's not so sharp uh, basically both are using roughly the same ISO 800-ish um, rating uh, but as you can see here clearly this one is sharper uh, just because the anti-noise reduction is not turned to super super high just like in this shot because it's super super high everything got smoothed out and got blurry and this is basically the reason why the Sony Xperia X device with Safety Jazz is creating such blurry uh, results and uh, all the people are complaining about uh, the camera not being sharp. It's basically the, the anti-noise reduction is turned too high and the algorithm for, for uh, calculating the exposure time is also completely off. As you can see, here, I'm using here 1 60th of the second and here it's using 1 20th of the second, uh, which uh, introduces uh, motion blur shirk and uh, yeah, makes the images uh, not very sharp in this case. Enough from this comparison. I think uh, you get the message. The Sony Xperia XA device, XA2 device in uh, low ISO conditions takes perfectly good fine shots for, um, uh, for a middle class chip and a middle class uh, sensor inside of the Sony Xperia XA2. And I think that the Sony Xperia X device running Safe S with the updated drivers uh, with the same um, noise reduction applied as to the uh, Sony X, uh, Xperia XA2 device would uh, result in the same uh, experience basically as on the XA2 so same sharpness level and so on maybe there is a slight difference in, in the lens so this uh, XA2 is using a slightly uh, wider lens so there might be a little bit dif of difference uh, but uh, yeah I hope we can soon see also a big improvements in the sony um, xperia x device running selfish uh, x with updated drivers overall the sony xperia x a2 device is a solid device in dark conditions of course it's all falling apart just because of the sensor it's in the nature of those uh, small sensors and if you don't use computational uh, tricks just like the huawei phones do or other phones do with night mode like the google pixel uh, you cannot um, reduce all the noise and so on so uh, it's a solid snapper and i would say uh, that the xa2 camera sensor at least for the um, for the snapshots for the for the captures that you take uh, is uh, a solid uh, solid snapper yeah when it comes to the uh, front facing camera i'm a little bit disappointed because it's a downgrade to the sony xperia x um, i've taken a little video that you can listen to and you will see that the quality is not very good but the same goes for the back camera when you want to take uh, videos at least 
uh, in complete contrast to the Sony X, X device where the uh, uh, back facing camera, the main camera is producing a 300, 450 millisecond delay between audio and video, you don't have this problem on the XA2 and you can see a little video on the XA2 as well. I will put them later on uh, in the video itself. Um, yeah, this is basically everything for this uh, little comparison and of course analysis of the Sony Xperia XA2 device. I would have hoped to take better shots when it came to uh, outside nice uh, pictures of, of, of outside um, of outside um, stuff <laughs> of uh, flowers for example of the beach uh, and so on but yeah the weather is sadly too bad but overall I think you got an impression of the Sony Xperia XA2 camera and how it is performing on the Selfish X. It's of course because they're using the AOSP drivers and not the Sony DRM uh, super algorithm packed in drivers that the Android version of the XA2 can use. Uh, the um, image quality is uh, losing against the Android version clearly, but it's still light years ahead when compared to the Sony Xperia X device, which is uh, yeah, when you compare it this way, you can basically say it's unusable in 100% view. And the XA2 device, uh, depending on the ISO that you have on the lighting conditions, you can really clearly use it as those um, pictures with the flash clearly show with low ISO. This is a perfectly usable shot and even uh, if I crop it, it uh, or view it at 100%, it's a usable shot and it's a good shot. So this is everything for the, my little um, camera comparison and camera review of the Sony Xperia XA2 running Selfish X. I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you like this video, just hit on the like button and uh, you can also subscribe if you want to see more of those videos. Uh, this is everything for this little demonstration. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, thanks for watching. So, das ist mal ein kleines Testvideo, was ich jetzt hier mit dem Xperia XA2 aufnehme. Und ja, hoffen wir mal, dass die Kameraqualität äh, etwas besser ist. Aber es sieht sehr bescheiden aus. Und klar, das Licht ist nicht das allerbeste. Aber trotzdem sollte es doch eigentlich einigermaßen von der Tonqualität her stimmen und natürlich auch von der Videoqualität her stimmen. Und hoffentlich ist auch jetzt äh, Lippen und Ton synchron, ansonsten flippe ich aus und zerreißt das Ganze in einem Video, das kann ich euch sagen. So, another test.
uh, with the Xperia XA2 and I don't know how to hold it. I think this way I think it's best. With the rear camera and the video and the audio test and I will move around and you will see if it will um, acquire focus just like for example on nice watch here. Does it acquire focus on the watch or not? And now on my face back again we will see if the continuous autofocus is working or not. And if the audio quality is um, good and if the lip sync is also good, so audio and video are in sync. And uh, I think there is no video stabilization in this, at least SafeRest does not support EIS, so the electronic image stabilization that Sony provides usually. And I think there's no OIS in the XA2. So yeah, that's a little test with the Sony Xperia XA2 in dark conditions, as you can see and uh, with the main camera.